By some estimates, as much as half of the energy used in industrial processes ends up as waste heat. What if industrial plants could put that waste heat to work? What if they could use it to generate electric power, saving capital and operating expenses? Imagine industrial waste heat no longer a byproduct, but a resource for emission-free electricity. Two industry leaders have joined forces to turn that concept into a reality. Dresser Rand, a global supplier of custom-engineered rotating equipment solutions for applications in oil and gas and other industries worldwide. And Ecogen, a producer of scalable heat-to-power systems. Dresser Rand and Ecogen have a partnership that dates back now to early 2011 because Ecogen has some market-leading innovative technology here for waste heat recovery. We basically take heat that is otherwise unused in a process, whether it's from an exhaust of a gas turbine or from an industrial source, and use supercritical CO2 as the working fluid in a closed loop cycle that generates electrical power. Dresser Rand and Ecogen have partnered to develop the EPS 100, an innovative new technology that converts on-site waste heat into electricity using supercritical CO2. The supercritical CO2 power cycle is a closed loop system. Liquid CO2 is pumped above critical pressure to a recuperator, where it is preheated using residual heat from the system. The CO2 then moves to the waste heat exchanger, where waste heat is transferred, raising the temperature of the CO2 to its highest point. Then the high energy supercritical CO2 is split into two streams. One third powers the drive turbine connected to the turbo pump. The other two thirds of the stream is expanded in the power turbine, which then provides the shaft work to drive the generator, producing electrical power. The discharge from both turbines recombines at the recuperator to preheat the CO2 heading to the waste heat exchanger. The remaining heat is removed through air or water cooled condensers, bringing the CO2 back to its liquid state. This efficient system provides many benefits over other systems without sacrificing performance. Simplified installation with a single pressure in-stack waste heat exchanger. The efficient supercritical CO2 working fluid provides the fluid density of a liquid and the compressibility of a gas. A flexible operating cycle allows for integration with a wide variety of heat sources. The compact system results in a lower balance of plant, installation, and operation and maintenance costs. A modular skid-mounted system simplifies installation and allows for possible relocation. Capital expenses and operating expenses are reduced compared to other waste heat to power options. In applications where cooling water is not available, air-cooled condensers can be utilized to make the solution a water-free option. There are no incremental emissions due to the closed-loop system. The EPS 100 is capable of generating nominal gross power of 8 megawatts. It is the first commercial offering and will be followed by other product sizes in the future. We've been running a test campaign to ensure that the equipment meets our performance expectations as well as reliability expectations. The point of the testing at the Dress Rand facility is to demonstrate and validate not only the entire CO2 heat engine, but each one of the individual components. First, the test program verified the expectations for the process skid. Next, the power skid was added and tested. This allowed the system to start generating electrical power as expected. We've been able to demonstrate successfully that we're on the path to delivering that high power output at a low cost solution. This is exciting technology because it actually enhances many of the products that Dresser Rand already delivers to clients in oil and gas, distributed power generation. And also we have a strong play in environmental solutions and this ties in very nicely with biomass and geothermal and solar technologies as well. The EPS 100 and succeeding models are proving that industrial waste heat is no longer just a wasteful byproduct, but can be put to use as a resource for economical and emission-free electricity.